Well, we know that there are a lot of people who just love their well manicured lawn that is single species of grass. And then when they see some of the weeds or unwanted plants that they want to get rid of, such as dandelion, such as sorrel, such as clover and plantain, they want to get rid of them. They want to eradicate them. So they use their herbicides or whatever they have to use so they can maintain their single species lawn. However, there's a lot of benefit to having diverse species in your grass area, in your lawn. There's a lot of benefit from a medicinal standpoint from, from human consumption and as well as they can provide food. So we're eradicating a lot of things that have a lot of benefit to us. And then some things like dandelion, we want to eradicate them from our lawn, but then we'll go buy the supplement. What sense does that make? Yeah. Well, we love the weeds, don't we? Yeah! I love the weeds, we love the weeds, <laughs> and there's a lot of benefits to them. And today, we're going to talk about one of those weeds, and it's plantain. Broadleaf plantain, plantago major, and narrowleaf plantain. Plantago lensolata. Both of these plants are edible. They sure are. You can use both of these leaves. When they're small and tender, you can put them on your salads. They're really good for that. And you can also, at whatever stage they're in, you can chop them up finely and you can put them in your rice or your soups and they taste really great. One of the things that we like to use them for is what? Bug bites. Yes, bug bites. Show them how to use them for bug bites. How do you use it? So pretend that I had a bug bite or a sting right here on my hand. So what do you do? You just crush it up to get Show the, us. So you just crush it up like something, or you could just roll it like this, really hard. And you just rub it on. Yep, you just rub the plantain after it's been crushed or rolled right on to wherever you've been stung or bit by an insect and it totally will take it away. There's been times where I've been stung and I've done that and then within seconds the the pain has gone away. Daddy, why don't you make some of your tea? Let's do that. I like to use the plantain, I use both the broad and narrow leaf plantain to make a tea with rosemary and I just love it. So let's go make some. So right here is a narrow leaf plantain plant that I've been saving. And there's no need to worry about it spreading as long as you don't let it go to seed. You can kind of keep it where you want to keep it. But if you want it to go to seed and you want more of it, that's totally fine too. So I'm going to take some of these and make some tea out of it. Also, I forgot to mention that both the Native Americans and the Englishmen use plantain for various medicinal purposes. They use them for cuts and burns. There's also a lot of anti-inflammatory properties to them, antimicrobial benefits to it. So definitely this is a plant, a weed, to keep around and not think about it as a weed. Keep Think about it as just another plant that's growing. But if you don't want it in your garden, I, I like to say they're more unwanted plants for the garden. But <clears throat> plantain is definitely one that I like to have around the farm because it has many benefits to it. So we just gathered our plantain leaves to make our tea. We got the broad leaf and the narrow leaf and I really like to use rosemary. I think it adds just a nice complement of flavor to the tea. So if you're looking to harvest it around your property, the broad leaf tends to like areas that are shady and tends to get a little bit more water and the narrow leaf likes areas that are that get a lot of sun. So don't kill the weeds. Go harvest these and use them. We just harvested ours, we washed them, and now we are letting them steep for our tea, and we're soon gonna have some nice plantain tea in like 10 to 15 minutes. So, that's it for this vlog. 
If you haven't already, make sure you sign up, sign up for our email newsletter and we'll send out the recipe for this tea. That's it for now. Don't kill the weeds. See you next time. Before I get back to work, I'm going to enjoy some of this weed tea.